Okay, so I'm back here with another video with the Colt LE 6940 semi-automatic version of the M4. Today we're going to talk about scopes and do we really need to spend a lot of money on a red dot scope. Now this one I just mounted here, a BSA RD42SB. Now the SBs were discontinued years and years ago and I would say this scope is probably 25, 30 years old. And um, what we're going to do today is, you know, we're going to discuss if we really need to spend $400 to $700 on a red dot scope. So let's see if we can still get this thing working and uh, zero it in at 25 yards. I'm River Roubaix and welcome to my gun kingdom. Let's go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about the scope here. And um, I'm going to see if we can, you know, in the bright sunshine, you have a dial up here, and we'll probably have to turn it to, it goes from 1 to 11. Yeah, yeah I can see it at 11 let's see what the lowest we can go so let's go back there's one i'll just keep dialing it until i find it there it is right there just barely showing up in the bright sunshine you go to you can go on to five now this is a um let's go up to six That's pretty bright at nine. I think we'll take it to 11. Yeah, we'll just take it to 11. Now this is a five MOA and um, so we'll see here. We'll try to get it on paper. We'll shoot at that lower target first. Yeah, we'll shoot right now. We'll aim for the bullseye. Just to see where we're at here. And I have a GoPro down there, so we'll be able to have some instant feedback here. Okay, for now I'm going to cover, I'm going to take that red dot and just cover up that. Now let's turn it off until I get my muffs on here. Now this is a 5.56. Five, and I got a 20 round mag. Make sure this is five five six. Yep. Okay. So I got it on the lead sled to zero it in. Yeah, try not to waste a lot of ammo. That's what's nice about a lead sled. Oh. All right. We got a spotting scope here, too, to help us out. All right. Turn this back on 11. Okay. Mm 
All right. Shoot three. Oh, it's not too bad. It's probably about three and a half, four inches lower. So we're going to have to raise it up here. Just turn this off. Alright. Turn it back on. Eleven. Okay, I didn't mess with the windage at all. Okay, I think we're going to come over to the left a couple of clicks. So those were my first three in here. Then I raised it up. Those were a group of three here. And then I had a wild shot over here. Moved it up again. So let's just go ahead and cover these up. One thing you got to remember to save your battery life is to make sure you turn it off in between because it just keeps going
it's safe. <clears throat> back over to the right. Just one click. All right, there's one click back to the right. Okay, so what I was doing was covering up the bullseye with the red dot. Okay, turn that off. Turn it on safe. Looks perfect now. But I got three right in the bullseye. So I'm done making adjustments. So I'm done making adjustments now. Those, all three of them, it looks like they went in the bullseye. So we'll make sure these caps are on tight. This is off. All right. So let's, let's finish up our last uh, couple rounds in the... Uh, well, let's just stay on that bottom target. And... Oh, let's go to the lower right corner. That's a smaller bullseye. Now, let's see how we do here in that square, lower right-hand corner. Okay, that's it. See how we did here. Oh, I got one right in the bullseye. That one's just touching at the bottom. So, well, it took 20 rounds. Um, it was easier than I thought it would be get, just getting started and getting that on paper. So I'm really pleased that uh, I only went through 20 shells to get it zeroed in. And, you know, I use this for a home protection weapon, so 25 yards is perfect. And got to remember to turn off that battery. It pretty much, it pretty much, you know, at 25 yards, 5 MOA, it covers up that bullseye. So what we're finding out here is um, after we put and covered up the uh, set of uh, holes there, came back and from I was shooting right here, and then I moved it back to the right a little bit, and then I hit here and here in the bullseye, and then white right there too, and then a couple went right there touching the bullseye. Then the last two we shot right here, you know, that 5 MOA red dot, it was covering up right about like this in the square. And this is set at 25 yards. So this bullseye right here, um, it pretty much covered it up, the red dot at 25 yards but I could still see these outer rings. But here, I wasn't able to see, once I put the red dot right on this bullseye here, I couldn't see these outer white rings here. Now, from what I'm looking at right now, it's covering up about three quarters of this bullseye, 
25 yards. Okay, it's all zeroed in. You don't have to spend a lot of money on on uh, expensive scopes. You know, just start out with a, a you know, I wouldn't say they're cheap. I would just say they're inexpensive. Just start out with an inexpensive scope at first, and uh, you know, and if you break it, you know, or if it doesn't work, you're not out that much money. But you don't need to spend a lot of money on those uh, high-tech scopes. Well, I'm very well pleased with this, this BSA scope. It's inexpensive, but it's fast acquisition. It's zeroed in at 25 yards. No use spending all that money on the real expensive scope. Hope you liked this video, and if you did, please subscribe, and also hit that like button, and leave a comment down below, and also share this with your friends. Appreciate you watching. Thank you.